Hello and welcome to Alva Radar Technology and Communications videos. Are you interested in technology to navigate drone boats safely and efficiently? In this video, I will show you how E-Band 76 GHz short-range marine radar can revolutionize drone boat navigation, making it easier and safer for autonomous shipping than ever before. Today, engineers are building the most fantastic marine drones, such as this one from Global National Video. And I'm here to tell you about the latest advancement in drone boat navigation, Ultra Short Range Marine Radar. This new technology enables you to navigate unmanned boats with unparalleled accuracy and safety, while reducing operational risks associated with maritime activities. Let me first give you some terms. Unmanned Surface Vehicle, also known as an unmanned surface vessel or uncrewed surface vessel, is commonly referred to as a drone boat or drone ship. These boats or ships function on the water's surface without any crew on board. USVs can operate with varying degrees of autonomy, ranging from remote control to completely autonomous surface vehicles. Drone applications include commercial shipping, intraport delivery, robotic environmental monitoring, maritime automation, and other maritime operations for trade and transportation. Popular radars for boats, surprisingly, do not provide a view of the water area right up to the side of the boat. For example, few no radars have a minimum size of a blind spot of 20 meters. Radars of other brands have a blind spot about the same range. This is still not the best choice if you need to see the situation in the near zone, for example at a distance of 1 or 3 or 15 meters. If we look at the design of the drone boats available in public media, we see several radars of different classes on board at once. It is because to get an accurate situational awareness at different distances. However, when you need to navigate in the vicinity of a drone boat at a distance of several meters, you need remarkably accurate short-range radar, and the E-band radar comes into play. As I said, the common boat radars on the market have insufficient accuracy for drones and a blind spot and using video cameras to remotely control a drone is often useless because of the constant splashing of the lens with seawater or rain. An advantage of E-band radar is its very low radiated power, which is safe for people on board, in port areas, and for the environment. It is even lower than the emitting power of the iPhone you use all day. After the foreword of why autonomous vessels need millimeter band radars, I will now turn to the specifications of Elva's E-band SDM 3676 radar. First, it has Ethernet digital output that allows radar images to be displayed both on the remote operator's dashboard and in third party applications that support an open data format. Second, the range is up to 600 meters to provide a high resolution situational awareness. The beam width is 15 degrees in elevation and 2 degrees in azimuth direction. Third, the radar has 15 centimeters accuracy on all distances up to 600 meters range to safely pass close to large ships at harbor moorings or other obstacles. What is important for small drone boats, the radar has a compact, lightweight dome design with 30 revolutions per minute antenna rotation. The 100 milliwatt radiation power with a low onboard power consumption is great for sea drones and especially for electric boats where the power balance is so critical. In conclusion, E-band radar without a blind spot is crucial for a drone boat to ensure safe and efficient navigation in any harsh conditions. This radar provides improved situational awareness, autonomous or operator response to unexpected obstacles, and reliable performance. Its advanced digital technology is essential to the successful operation of an unmanned vessel and contributes to the overall safety and efficiency of maritime operations potentially reducing operating costs. If you want to learn more about Elva Marine Radar for electric drone boats, I recommend following the link to Elva website in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.